Hello, hello. It is the first week that we are going to have a CAD quiz for ME250. And the CAD quiz is going to be over the introduction of SOLIDWORKS and then sections two and three in the SOLIDWORKS 2018 Essential Training Linda tutorials. And we're going to have a quiz this Friday, September 7th, going over the features and tools demonstrated in those videos. And to give you guys some practice before the quiz, here's a little practice part that will be pretty similar to the quiz. So here's a part that we made. It's going over some pretty basic solid work features, an extrude, an extruded cut, and a revolve or revolve cut, depending on how you want to make this. So let's go ahead and make this part. I'll make it uh, from scratch along with you guys. So I'm going to go to SOLIDWORKS. As you can see, I've already made the part here. I'm going to go to File, New, and Part. And first thing first, always bottom right, we're in the right units, MMGS, so we're in millimeters, and it says so right here that we should be in millimeters. So there's a couple different ways we can go about making this part. We can make it in one revolve, uh, center line here, and draw this shape, revolve it around, and then do this extruded cut. But I'll keep it simple to start, and I'll do a extruded circle with a diameter of 15, extruded up 15. I'll do this revolved cut to get this feature right here, and then we'll do an extruded cut to get this uh, square cut out right here. So let's start with getting a diameter, a circle with diameter 15, extruded 15 millimeters up. So we're going to go to sketch, sketch, and I'm going to start on the top plane because I'm extruding up. Uh, go to circle, start on the origin. We should always start on the origin and always relate our parts to the origin. And then this is going to be 15 for its diameter. And now we're just going to extrude this up 15. And going back to this drawing right here, we can see it's 15 from this right here saying its diameter. And this right here will show its height. So now let's get this square cut out at the top. Uh, from these drawings, we can see it's going to be 5 by 5 by 5. We got its length, its width, and its uh, height or depth, I guess, in this application. So we're going to make this 5 by 5 square on this top plane or face right on the origin. So let's start. So we're going to sketch right on this top plane right here. And now I'm going to go normal to it. So I'm going to hit spacebar. And then I can hit this normal to, or you can see the shortcut, control A. And then we're right perpendicular or normal to the face. So now we're going to want a center rectangle. We're going to start right on the origin. We'll dimension it out after we've got the shape. So we've got the shape. And now we'll go to smart dimension and we'll make this five by five. Perfect. And now we want an extruded cut and we want that to be five down, not 15. So let's change that five by five by five. Perfect, five by five by five, great. So now we've got everything but this revolved cut right here. So let's go ahead and make that. So for this revolved cut, we're going to need a plane that's kind of in the middle of this part. So we can see how this top plane is kind of at the bottom, this front plane is kind of in the middle, and this right plane is kind of in the middle. So either or will work just fine because we're gonna revolve something around something that's on this plane. Uh, that's kind of hard to conceptualize, so let's just go ahead and do it, and I think it'll make more sense. So I'm going to go ahead on the right plane, start a sketch on the right plane. I'm going to go normal to it, and we know from watching the videos that we're always going to need a axis of revolution or a center line if we're going to do a revolve or revolve cut. So I'm going to go ahead and draw that right here on the origin, and then we see it's kind of a triangular cutout, so I'm just going to go ahead and draw that general shape of this triangular cutout right here. So do that, do that, and then we'll connect it. Great. And now we've got some dimensions we have to follow. We can see that these two lines are going to be perpendicular or 90 degrees from each other. So let's go ahead and do that. So this line and this line will be 90 degrees. And you could just as well have done a relation between these and made them perpendicular, but one or the other, not both. It'll give you errors otherwise. So now we've got we've got them perpendicular, 90 degrees. So now let's get ahead and make their lengths five. Uh, one thing to watch out for is what this dimension is actually telling you. This is the length of the line, not from here to here. Let me show you right now. So we want this length right here, not the length from this point 
to this point. So we're going to measure this out to be 5, and we want this one to also be 5. And see how everything turned black? That means we're fully defined. All of our sketches should always be fully defined. Uh, so let's go ahead and go to Features, Revolved Cut. It's going to automatically just select that line to be the axis of revolution, just kind of smart like that. So in case it didn't, it's going to ask axis of revolution. We'll select that. And that's our axis of revolution. We want it to be 360 degrees around. Hit OK. And it's going to make that cut all the way around. So now our part is looking pretty much done, except for its material. We can see down here, it should be gray cast iron. So let's go over here, material, edit material, and we're in steel. Let's get to iron, gray cast iron, and apply that. And you can see it kind of changes the uh, color, and it's also going to change the material properties. One way we're going to check these quizzes is going to check the mass. We're going to have a exact mass that you have to match up to that just ensures all of your dimensions and whatnot are correct. So let's check my part right now. It should be 14.61 grams. Go to the SOLIDWORKS part, evaluate, mass properties, 14.61 grams. So we're spot on. We've made our part and we're good to go. Uh, just keep in mind there are plenty of ways to make this part. We could have done one specific or one individual revolve rather than these two features. I'll show you right here. I made it with one single revolve with this sketch. Go normal to it. I made this sketch, same dimensions, same everything as the other one, same mass. We've got the 5.5, five, uh, it's perpendicular. Its height is 15. And then when this revolves around this line right here, it's going to kind of go all the way around. So it'll have a diameter of 15 because this is going to end up doubled. And we can see that this is also going to be exactly the same, 14.61 grams. So as long as you end up with the same part, we're not going to nitpick how you got there. But to start, just get the part. And then when you get better and more involved with SolidWorks, you can start to eliminate or reduce the amount of features or sketches it takes for you to get to that specific part. All right, that's it for today. Thanks, guys.